Well, Bennett Kessler filed this report more than 22 years ago, Inyo County and the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power signed a long-term agreement that was supposed to end disputes over groundwater pumping. Now, those disputes continue, and there is still no agreed-upon method to control pumps. Now, the section of that long-term agreement that was supposed to manage pumping to avoid damage is ironically called the Green Book. Now, both Inyo and L.A. have agreed that this set of rules has failed. For six years, they have debated what to do next. Now, they will get back to talking with a facilitator and more studies. Inyo Water Director Bob Harrington said that the Green Book revision has sat on a back burner while the Water Department has dealt with other issues like a dispute with LADWP over the Black Rock area and damage done there. Now, Inyo says pumping has killed part of the environment. LADWP denies it. Now, last week, the Inyo supervisors approved a contract with a facilitator, Susan Carpenter, to sit down with both sides to look for answers. Harrington said L.A. has challenged some of Inyo's plant data and talks have been more or less stalled. Now, Harrington is confident that Inyo's data is good. He and his staff are looking at management of pumping based on depth of water. Now, what's the hang up to that logical approach? Well, Harrington said DWP wants to sort out surface water and precipitation from groundwater fluctuations. He said Inyo has never disputed that. Discussions, he said, have, quote, gone around in circles, end quote. Now, in the last couple of years, Harrington said disputes over Black Rock and DWP's pumping plans have, consu have consumed time and effort. Now, the water director also said that both sides have agreed to use the Ecological Society of America to, quote, assemble a panel of scientists to assist with the Green Book revision process, end quote. Now, more so-called cooperative studies also lie ahead. LADWP, according to the water agreement, will pay for these studies and facilitation. Well, Mammoth Community Water District officials say that the proposed Casa Diablo geothermal plant expansion could harm both groundwater and surface water resources used to serve the community of Mammoth Lakes. Casa Diablo geothermal officials have gone through the environmental investigation of their expansion plans and Mammoth's water district has responded. Now, in a press release, the Water District says the geothermal expansion project proposes the development of 16 production and reinjection wells, along with, quote, a significant increase in geothermal fluid pumping, end quote. Now, the release also says that several of the proposed new wells are within two miles of the district's groundwater production wells. Mammoth Water officials hired two specialists to help in the review of Casa Diablo's plans. Now, district officials say that pumping or well reinjection could decrease aquifer recharge or alter water quality in the aquifers. Now, there are also concerns about increased pumping by Casa Diablo decreasing flows in Mammoth Creek. Now, the supply of water to Mammoth comes from both surface water, recycled water, and groundwater. According to Mammoth officials, the draft environmental document on Casa Diablo's proposed geothermal, expansion, pro pro geothermal expansion project says there are no significant impacts to the water district's operations. Now, according to the district press release, the Casa Diablo document, quote, does not provide sufficient information to support these conclusions, end quote. Now, the Water District's specialists identified significant information gaps. More information is available on the Mammoth Community Water District website, and that is mcwd.dst.ca.us. Well, the slogan for this year's Eastern Sierra Tri-County Fair has been chosen, and that is sow it, grow it, show it at the Tri-County Fair. Now, the official slogan was submitted by Nancy Prang of Bishop, and according to Eastern Sierra Tri-County Fair press release, it wasn't easy to pick just one slogan from so many great and creative slogans. We received many exceptionally great themes that were spot on with this year's fall theme. And again, the theme is Sow It, Grow It, Show It at the Tri-County Fair, and that was put in by Nancy Prang of Bishop. And the Eastern Sierra Tri-County Fair Board has also selected the special contest items, the pie for this year, pumpkin pie, and the food contest, 
will be chilly. Get more information at the website, tricountyfair.com, or call 760-873-3588. We'll be back with weather and sports.